Okay, so if someone once said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Well, after what I've seen, all I can say is, fuck that shit. Sometimes it's the shots you do take that hurt the most. I can't believe I'm here. I swore a long time ago that tournaments were not the place for me. I've been through the circuits. I've won my trophies, and I've been on ESPN. I really don't need this shit anymore. So why am I here? Everyone knows the real money is in the pool halls or has some tours on the State Street bars. Well, let me just say, this time is personal. Wait. For you to really understand this story, I think I'd better back up. It actually started six months ago. Okay, this is how it happened. As I said, I've done the whole circuit, and honestly, it's just not for me. I don't give a shit about interviews, or seeing my face on television, or the magazines, or the websites, or whatever. 
It's all a celebration of mediocrity to me. Everyone knows the best players in the world aren't found on ESPN. They're found in the pool halls, in the worst sections in town. And like it or not, if you really know how to play this game, that's where the real money is. At least that's what I thought. That was until she walked in. Yeah, that's her. Liquid perfection and eyeliner, holding a cue stick. Go ahead and look at her. It's hard not to. Who wants the game? 20 bucks. I'll even let you break. I'll play. I guess that's my shot. I'll play you. No real player would ever take her seriously, but these assholes are just lining up to give her their money. Okay, I'll admit it. I was interested too. But as I said, that was just the beginning. Alright, anybody else? I'll even let you break. I'll play you. Finally, some new blood. Let's make it interesting. What do you want, like a hundred on the side? How much you got? Like five. Five it is. Whatever, it's your money. Race till three? It's your break, sweetheart. Wish I hadn't been your king for a day. Now I always wanna be some kind of star. I wish I hadn't gone where you would surely be. But now I always wanna go wherever you are.
on, one more race. Double or nothing. And whose money are you going to pay me with when I win? What makes you so sure you're going to win? Because I don't gamble. What? Will you teach me how to play like that? No. Why? Why not? Please just stop and talk to me. If this is about the money, then you could have it back. Just leave me alone. It's not about the money. You won the money straight up. I don't get beat like that. I'm pretty good. But with you and I together, and you teach me how to play like that, we could be unstoppable. Not a chance, kid. Run along home. Will you at least tell me why I can't play with you? Because you have virgin pockets, kid. What the hell does that mean? It means you have no idea how to play. Straight pool is pool. What do you play, nine ball? That's perfectly fine for state street table bars and bowling alley bangers, but it's not a game. Pool takes surgical precision and finesse, and darling, you don't have either. Shaking your ass at Andy's pub all night might confuse the college kids, but they'll get you eaten alive on the circuit. They'd make a joke of you, and you did a pretty good job of that yourself. I don't see you setting fire at the circuit, and who gives a fuck about those bitches on ESPN anyways? I'm talking about making money, and money is something I know plenty about. And I just took half a grand out of the hall until you showed up, and that's something. And if you don't see the dollar signs and us working together, well then, I don't know what to say. Fine, thanks for the game. I had to hand it to her. The kid had spunk. Round off her edges and she actually could be a gold mine. Hey kid, what's your name? The name's Jordan, Jordan Jameson. Why don't you stop by the brewery later and I'll buy you a drink. The brewery? Who the fuck plays the brewery? I do. I knew you'd come around. I'll catch you later. Grace, I need you to pull me your tall white one. Well, this is Lizzie Monroe. The only tall blonde I know of. <laughs> so, hey, I heard you got yourself involved in a real blood game uptown. I wouldn't call it a blood game. I only sent him to the ATM four times. Oh, only four times, huh? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'd say you've had better games. <laughs> Lost? The name's Jordan. My friends call me JJ. My name's Grady. My friends call me Grace. So Grace, got him out, Anthony's? Yeah. You know, I said my friends call me Grace. You can call me Mr. Scott. Oh, okay, Grady, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, well, it's uh, three dollars for the Anthony's. Keep the change. So I've, uh, never seen you around before. Yeah, I'm new. Got a pool table around here? Yeah, it's out the back. Thanks. So you want to win your money back? Sorry, I'm all tapped out. I believe if you're going to play, the stake should matter. 
Tell you what, you give me your best game, put your tits back in your shirt, keep your feet on the floor, play me straight up, I'll put your 500 bucks back down. Sorry, hon, I told you, I don't have it. Equal collateral, load up your stick. You want my fucking cue stick? And just to make it fun for me, I'll let you have four balls off the table. That sounds good. I'll take that action. All right, come on. I'll take down your floor. down again with four balls off the table, she'd miss, and I'd have the whole thing. Yeah, well, four balls is the oldest hustle in the game. I know. The night I met her, she took me for a grand using it. Live and learn, I'll tell you what. All she was doing was getting you to move your balls out of the way so she could have a clear shot at hers. You can't blame me for trying to teach the kid a valuable lesson. I really need to learn some of this shit. Well, I'll tell you, there's no one better to teach it than Lizzie Monroe. I'd love to be able to hustle like her. Oh, Lizzie's not a hustler. You see, she wins because people underestimate her. A woman who looks like that isn't supposed to know how to play the game. But what they don't know is that Lizzie was practically born in a pool. You see, her father was a card player, and her mom was never really around. So ever since she was nine, she's been running these racks from Buffalo to Burbank. She's what you would call a scholar of the game. If she's so good, how'd she get stuck in Erie? Oh, she's not stuck. She's played the circuit. She has her pro card. But with Lizzie, it's never been about the money. It's about being the best. And in order to be the best, you've got to beat the best. She knows where the top players come to shoot her down. The nine ball invitational? Not on your life. The invitational's for newspapers and web bloggers. The real pool games are played in back rooms and bars all over town. And you just played in one of the best. You know. Don't even start. What? Grace, you know I'm done with that doubles bullshit. It's always more hassle than it's worth. Well, you know, you can't be the queen forever. You know, this game is getting faster and faster. The talent's getting younger and younger. You know, no one respects the art of the game anymore, Lizzie, and you know it. Now, like it or not, the heir to your throne is in that frickin' restroom there. And someone needs to show her how to play this game right. So before you go riding off into the sunset, you and I both know you've got another run left. And you're absolutely sure that has nothing to do with the fact that doubles pays twice the money? You guys were talking about us playing doubles then? Count me in. Okay, fine. If we're gonna play together, you're gonna play by my rules. No arguments, no discussions, understand? Okay, fine, so what are the rules? Rule number one is you do exactly what I tell you to do when I tell you to do it. Okay, so I'm your bitch, rule number two. Let's see how you do with rule number one first. So how does this deal go down? Well, the basic hustle's pretty simple. First, you set up the game. You lose two of your first three. You don't want to look too weak, but you don't want to look too good either.
See, the point here is to raise the stakes. Get the bankroll on the table worth walking away with. You want to take your time. You rush through this, and you'll get flagged as a hustler. You'll get shut out of the room immediately. Win some, but lose most of them. Wait until there's $500, then you make your move. Now see, the beauty of playing with a partner is, if you time it right, you can double up, still have time for breakfast, before the sunrise game starts. I can't believe how easy that was. What did we take out of that? A grand? Uh, 900. You gotta work a little faster there, kid. You ended up a game behind Lizzie. So what is that, $300 a piece? That's not bad for a night's work. Right, but it could have been a grand. It wouldn't have taken you an hour to take down that last set. You would have matched it five apiece. What can I say? He was cute. <laughs> Don't let him bust your balls, JJ. Take's never good enough for him. Besides, there's enough bullshit in this work. Have fun when you can. And he was cute. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Let's uh, finish up these drinks, girls. Night shift's letting out. We gotta get moving. Hey, aren't you Lizzie? Monroe? What are you, 10? How do you know who I am? I've been standing out of your picture in my dad's bathroom forever. <laughs> Playing the nine ball? We'll see. Good luck if you do. Fucking mom Can you believe that shit? So? She's the bomb. Greatest nine ball player I've ever seen. Now the sunrise games are important because these guys are fresh off the night shift with their pockets full of tips. Once the business class is off to their luncheons and meetings, there's no one in the bar. These are the games no one talks about. But you can pull another 500 out of this room before lunch. Hey. Just watch her set this up. It's truly a thing of beauty. You know, I thought I remember a pool table being here last night. Yeah, of course, we got a table here. Me and my, me and my friend are just messing around. No, no, do you, want, do you want the table? You know, well, I have like an hour before my meeting. Would you like to join me in a game? I guess I can do that. What do you play around here? We normally play straight eight, straight eight, but whatever. Straight eight sounds perfect. Um, how about 50 a race? Yeah, I think I can do 50. She 
She's gonna lose this one. She's gonna make it look good. She doesn't even look like she knows how to play pool. You're already up $50. What's the difference? You're still gonna come out ahead. I'll go see if the kid has any money. Dude, there ain't no way she knows what she's doing. We're gonna be able to get our money back probably plus make some. The cool thing is maybe freaking afterwards we'll be able to get some from her. Maybe. Which one you want, dude? The blonde. Dude, they're both blonde. Does it matter? <laughs> Don't matter to me, bro. That was amazing. Those guys, they're easy. <laughs> You're gonna use that thing, use it right. Shut up. Come on, let's go kick some ass. Sometimes I just don't know There's like a volcano inside That just won't blow But keeps on building Higher and higher And I wish I could say Just what it is Break out of this prison And let it shine It's hard It's hard work We don't get much sleep She's on the show She's loud and she's ugly Got no place to go Yeah, I'm wasting away One night at a time But it's almost summer And while I'm still in my prime I want to get down Down to the bottom All the way down Till I can hold it in my hand Don't smell it, taste it Feel the color and shape it But you can't give it up Till you're all the way 
Like you're down 50, how about 100 bucks or less? Could you get? Actually, I think this might be pretty good. One more game. You're done. Before you embarrass yourself or spend any more of my money. Rule number three, always know your opponent. What happened to rule number two? Refer to rule number one. Cat, good game. Yeah, glad I could help. Are you kidding me? Rule number four, never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> She's right. This kid may look like a trust fund stoner, but cutthroat at a grand race, it's a game that only comes up twice a year. Twice a year? Well, yeah. See, it's when his trust fund pays out. His parents didn't want him blowing all his money on video games, and, uh, well, you'll figure it out. It's a nice hookup. It's all the way nice. I wish I could take credit for this one, but he asked for you two by name. Wait, wait. He asked for us to by name? All right, well, he didn't necessarily ask for you by name, but when he heard the great Lizzie Monroe was shooting with a shark, he just had to see this one for himself. If this wasn't cutthroat, I'd kill you right now. I 
don't see what the big deal is. I need the big deal. What's up? How's it going? So, uh, yeah, when I heard uh, Lizzie Monroe was playing doubles, man, I, I had to check it out. Don't get too excited. It's probably not what you've heard. Uh, Alright, then I'll, uh, I play cutthroat, grand to race. Race till three? What's your hurry? I've got all day. Alright then, race to five. Five it is. All right, my table, my break, first ball drop, the signs your friend set over there, and uh, you can fall in wherever you like. All right, let's go. Dude, turn that shit up. Another game? Set him up. See what you got. I guess I can do this three ways. There you go. Thanks for playing. Good game. <laughs> Good game. Grace, always a pleasure. Jeff, man. I said my friend. Anytime. We'll see you Dude. in six months, buddy. Hey, you want to stay for another 15, 20 minutes? Uh, we got to roll, brother. When no. do you quit out? <laughs>
azt mondják, hogy a legjobb játszók itt vannak, hogy a Rack and Roll Now. So what's his story? Why hasn't he ever played in a game? Look at him. Have you really ever seen him in front of an opponent? Come to think about it, you're right. He doesn't like to lose, so he just plays himself. So what would happen to Blue Pepsi, man? That shit was awesome. Yeah, man. Pepsi ain't blue. Paint's blue. Pepsi ain't blue. Yeah, but that was awesome, man. You know, what was awesome about it? It was like, like, it's like he's in treat or, you know, like, treat. Hires. Zero high dude, it's just shot. My bad. Talk to me about the blue Pepsi. It don't work. Yeah, the blue, you know, like when you got blue balls, you know? It's a good old Pepsi. I don't blue ball, right? Well, it's like Coke Zero, like having no Coke or something? Like Crystal. Crystal Pepsi. Crystal's clear, though. What do you make? Like clear beer. Clear beer? Oh, for fuck's sake! Come on, it's time to go to work. Jesus, you two couldn't make any less fucking sense if I was to put a dollar in your mouth and he was to pull your dick and expect change to come out. Who's this fucking guy? Are you kidding me? I'll tell you what, you two are so stupid, I'll put a hundred bucks up a fucking game and I won't even shoot. You pick anybody in the room, I'll put a hundred dollars on the lights. What do you want? You want a little goth boy here? You want the uh, bartender? Pick anybody in the fucking room. I'll put the money on the lights. You guys got the fucking talkity talk going on. Are you serious? A couple of girls? I thought you guys wanted to fucking make this interesting. But seems how you're thinking with the wrong heads. Why don't we double the bet? Dude, I don't think I got that kind of money. I said it's hot chicks. Yeah, I know, but we kind of got called out. I just can't. play with the hot chicks. Can't back down, can we? Nope. What do you say? Buy you a steak dinner, you guys take care of these gentlemen for me? Sure, why not? Let's do this. What do you say, gentlemen? Are we playing? Let's play. I'll even let you break. Fair enough. I believe that's 200 apiece, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never judge the book by its cover, boys. Well, what can I say? These two were mopping up the town. It's not that the hustles were getting easier. It's that we weren't even hustling anymore. They had gotten so good, I was just setting up the games, and they were taking them down straight up. And let me tell you, games weren't too hard to come by. Everyone wanted to play these two. Sure, they were paying for the show, not the game, but it didn't make a difference to most of them. Hell, we even went back and gave the Hungarian another shot. So race to 500, like last time? No, I could already my in then. What'd he say? He said, fuck you. She's a pro. He knows it. She's already robbed him before. What, does he want to play doubles? You know she'll play with anybody in this room. No, that. Hey, kid. You want to play? Yeah. You want to play? Hell yeah, I'll play. Knock what is his name. 
His house is break. Profit is, ne hozzád szőke szukát ide! Normális vagy? Már végem van veled, aztán! Yeah, he's a nice game, man. A profitka, mondtam, ne hozzá be ezen szőke szukára, normális vagy? Ha már kész vagyok veled, az aztán kész. Mr. Scott, afternoon, how's business? Hey, Jack, good. Business has been real good. Good. New Prescott tap been good for you? Yeah, best guest draft we've had this month. Hey, yeah, great. Can you top this off for me? Absolutely. Excuse me for a minute. Lizzie Monroe. Sorry I didn't see you there sooner, otherwise I'd have paid my respects. Who's your friend? The name's Jordan Jameson. You call me JJ. Charmed, I'm sure. So you're the one I'm hearing so much about. What the hell are you talking about? Come on. Word gets around Lizzie Monroe's playing with a partner? Let's just say my phone starts to ring. Yeah, and? And we're looking for a couple of ladies to wear our jerseys at this year's invitation. Don't you need an invitation to that? Yes, you do. But that's where we come in. As a major event sponsor, it's already been taken care of. As in both of your entry fees. But that's five grand a piece. No thanks. I already have my invitation. What? What the hell? When did you get your invitation? So ladies, what do you say? You play under our banner this year? It could be a lucrative relationship for all of us. I told you no. No, thank you. All right. You change your mind. You know where to find me. Grace, let us know if you need anything. I'll be right back.
It doesn't have to be doubles. Would you mind telling me what the hell that was all about? What, 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 what was all about? Please, please. I'm trying to run a business here. Let's take some lunch. What? What was that all What about? was what all about? One, why didn't you tell me you had an invitation? And two, this guy is offering us a full ride to the final table, and you tell him to kiss off? Okay. One, my invitation has nothing to do with you. My pro card basically guarantees it. And two, I'm not going, and neither are you. Why? Why the hell not? Because they'll use you up like they used me. And you're too good for that. Use me? You've never played for the Erie Brewing, and what the fuck are you talking about? Honey, the sponsors are all the same. You're their poster child. You're everybody's best friend. There's gonna be TV interviews, press conferences, exhibition games, and the money's gonna come pouring in! Well, that sounds pretty good to me. It is good, until you lose. And you'll eventually lose. And then your ancient history. You're a has-been. And you might as well go back to bank shot hustling $25 games. Hun, I don't lose that often. That's not the point! Then what is the fucking point? The point is, you have one of the best natural arms I've seen, and I don't want to see you piss it away for a few seconds in front of the camera. Well, that's for me to decide. What are you, my mother now? Then go ahead and decide. Either way, I'm not going to the invitation. That's your choice, sweetheart. See if it fits. All right, what can I get you? I 
Matter. And so anyways, she put it in her mouth and within minutes it was wet and soft. And then she chewed on it a couple of times and then she started squirting and filling her mouth up. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about a piece of gum. What did you think I was talking about? <laughs> No, where's the princess? I don't know. She said she had something to do before she come. She didn't come with you? No. Hey, where's your girl at? We got a game or what? I, I don't know. I'm here. What's the left? <laughs> Fashion me late as always. So, race to for 100? About time. Whatever. Gentlemen. You owe me a hundred and fifty dollars. What the fuck was that about? You know, you can waste your time with them or you can make money with me. But either way, you can't do both. So you better decide what you want. I want to play with you, but I've earned my shot at the big show. Is that what it is with you? The show? No, but No, it's no. It's never been about the show. It's always about the game. Playing the best is about playing and winning. It's not about TV interviews and cameras. The best players aren't on circuits. You give me six months to round off your edges and you can play wherever the hell you want to play. You know what? I'm tired of playing games. Where will you go? There's nobody waiting after all. And so, Erie Brewery Company is proud to announce this year's representative for our rail vendor Nine Ball Invitational is Jordan Jameson.
you go into that tournament already. You know you want to. That's not what I want. Well, you're not playing. You're not making any money. You're just moping around here, putting what you do have in the tournament purse into this table 75 cents at a time. So why don't you do me a favor and tell me what it is you do want. I want her best game. Oh, well let me alert the presses. The world famous Lizzie Monroe wants to play the best of the best. Well, you taught her, hotshot. Right out of the book you wrote by hand. One rack at a time. If you want a player, she's not here. You know where she's at. Now go take her best game so that we can get back to the pool halls and hustling the tourists on State Street and shutting down anyone who thinks they're good enough to look across the table at Lizzie fucking Monroe. There's only one problem. There are no problems. Let me buy you a drink. I have the invitation, but I don't have the buy-in. Well, that's because you've been sinking your money into this table for the last two weeks. How about that drink? What's this about? What do you say? Won't you wear my shirt? I'll go get her. Well, here it is, folks. The final four tables of the Erie Brewery Nine Ball Invitational. If you've been following the action here on Channel 6 Sports, we don't have to tell you, it's been quite a ride. Newcomer Jordan J.J. Jameson dug in deep the first round, eliminating Lisa DeMarco by quite a wide margin. Not to be outdone, Lizzie Monroe surprised everyone when she came out of nowhere, eliminating top-ranked Marsha Hamilton in a shootout that lasted almost three hours. And considering we haven't seen Lizzie in quite a number of years, her impressive showing at the semifinals made quite a few people around the circuit sit up and start paying attention. That's right, Sean. Earlier this afternoon, Channel 6's own Dan Gilder was on the scene with Lizzie Monroe. Let's take a look. Dan Gilder, Channel 6 Sports. Lizzie, with all the controversy surrounding your former partnership with JJ, what is your strategy going to be if, as many predict, the final table ends up being the teacher versus the student? Well, Dan, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. She still has to beat the cat. JJ, can we get a comment? Shauna, it's clear. Both players are here to win. Either way, Bruce, it'll come down to these last two matches. Ultimately deciding who plays the final table. This is Bruce Herbert. This is Shauna Lee. You've been watching Channel, Channel 6 Sports. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Erie Brewing Company, the Fox and the Hound, and our gracious sponsors, welcome to the Railbender 9 Ball Invitational. <laughs> World standardized rules apply. Each table will be a race to three. Point standings establish first break, with players alternating the break thereafter. The ruling of the table judge is final. So on behalf of the Erie Brewing Company, good luck players. You may break when ready.
Lizzie Monroe entered the professional circuit in 1987, where she swept the Detroit Open and earned her pro card at the age of 25. She held every major East Coast title until 2001, where she was a no-show at the Women's Nationals and hasn't participated in a professional event since. But the question everyone is asking tonight is does she have what it takes against the young gun Jordan, J.J. Jameson? Stay tuned to Channel 6 Sports. The final two tables are coming up next. That's match, Elizabeth Monroe, winner. As a lot of people predicted, it's the teacher versus the student. Lizzie and JJ styles are obviously very similar. This has got to pose a problem for both of them on the table. I would agree, but it seems as if the experience of Lizzie Monroe's tournament career gives her the edge she needs to beat the arm on JJ. 
It will be interesting to see how it plays out. It's the teacher versus the student coming up here in the final match on Channel 6 Sports. Awesome. Gentlemen. Grace, how's it going? Good, Todd. Good. John, good well, to see you. So, uh, how's the queen looking this year? Uh, Tough competition. Yeah, well, I gotta tell you, the game hasn't changed none. Yeah, well, we're still looking forward to seeing it. No, I'm sure she won't disappoint. Take care, guys. All right, good Grace. Good to see you. Good, good to see you. So take care. Good luck. Yeah, back to what I was saying. Could have been you on that video game there. Every pool hall in the country. Good to see the flashing lights didn't distract you, honey. I'm fine, really. Are you? Could you be? You saw the game, Grace. I went on a mere technicality, and she's doing better than I expected. What'd you expect? You taught her everything you know. Listen, forget about this. All this hype. The cameras, the press, everybody. Forget it. Forget it. Everybody knows what you came here to do. So do it. You go get her best game. You know, I didn't teach her everything I know. I still have some moves of my own. I know you do. I thought you were done with tournaments. I am. I'm just not done with you yet. Hun, I know you need the money, but you're not going to be. JJ, it was never about the money. Yeah, we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Erie Brewing Company, the Fox and the Hound, and our gracious sponsors, welcome to the final table of the Railbender 9 Ball Invitational. Our final match tonight will be against Elizabeth Monroe and Jordan Jameson. Congratulations, ladies. Our current standings give Elizabeth Monroe the option to break. Or will you defer it to Jordan? Elizabeth Monroe shall have first break. World standardized rules apply. All fouls grant ball in hand to your opponent. Three consecutive fouls forfeit the match. We will race to three. Good luck, ladies. Elizabeth, you may break and win. I guess it's your back.
Elizabeth Monroe, our winner. So what are you going to do with the money? JJ, it was never about the money. It was always about the game. Well, it was a good game. <laughs> Maybe we can do this again next year. I wouldn't count on a kid. It is good until you lose, and you'll eventually you you'll eventually lose. Step back, do it again. Chuck, you just say that sounds pretty good to me. One more time. No, no, it's that, that, that reaction. That reaction is really good. Should I like say fox light? Yeah. Okay. So if you want to, man, that was so, so good, good too. It was good. He's picking up. If you want to play her? I was starting to wet myself over here. I've been nervous since one time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Take number two. Dan Gilder, Channel 6 Sports. I'm masturbating. Master and Marie, you're looking around like... You seriously want me to, like, look at your woman and say I haven't held a stick this long since I was masturbating earlier to Martha Stewart? Yeah. <laughs> and then you, you say about? I accidentally... I accidentally imagined. got down to Dr. Phil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too bad. So you say so, yeah. On behalf of the Erie Brewing Company, the Fox and the Hound, and our gracious sponsors, welcome. Damn. Yeah, that's right, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Feels right in reverse. She came out of nowhere and surprised everybody by eliminating the. You're killing me here with this direction, Paul. How can I work like this? <laughs> I can't All work right. under direction. <laughs> All right, you ready? Considering we haven't seen Lizzie in quite a number of years, her impressive showing at the semifinals made quite a few people. Oh.